What would happen if a volcano erupted in the United States? Greeting science lover. Today you will dive with me into a fascinating and, at the same time, somewhat disturbing topic. Have you ever wondered what would happen if a volcano erupted in the United States today? If you haven't, just imagine the impact it would have. Think of the magnitude of a natural event of this scale. But before we dive into the volcanic chaos, let's get a little context. Before you think this is just a science fiction scenario, let me tell you one thing. There are active volcanoes in US territory and some of them have a real probability of erupting. So, get ready for a journey of imagination as we explore what would happen if one of these giants of nature were to awaken in America. By the way, have you ever visited a volcanic area? First, let's take a look at the three volcanoes most likely to erupt in the United States. Yellowstone, Wyoming. With its famous and touristy national park, Yellowstone is home to a supervolcano that has experienced massive eruptions in the past. What would happen if this volcanic colossus were to spring into action? Some 85 kilometers long and 45 kilometers wide, the caldera houses a gigantic magma chamber that could precipitate the end of mankind, should it erupt. The last time it erupted was 631,000 years ago, but come on, on a scale of the age of the Earth, it's like five minutes ago. Mount Rainier, Washington. This majestic volcano is one of the most dangerous in the Pacific region, due to its recent activity and its proximity to the city of Seattle. Moreover, its last recorded eruption was in the year 1450, that is, less than 600 years ago, much more recent, don't you think? Mauna Loa, Hawaii. Although Hawaii is a U.S. territory far from the mainland, Mauna Loa is the largest volcano in the world and it is active. Unless you've been living in a cave, you'll remember that this monster volcano erupted on November 27, 2022, and lasted approximately two weeks. Although this last eruption had no fatalities, in 1926 and 1950 were not so lucky as several villages were destroyed. Yes, I know you are thinking the same as me, three eruptions in less than a hundred years. I ask you something, which of these three volcanoes is more likely to erupt sooner? By the way, I hope you have already subscribed to this very interesting channel. Now, let's visualize this scenario together. You're peacefully vacationing in Yellowstone, Wyoming, suddenly everything turns into chaos, the earth trembles, a huge plume of smoke rises on the horizon and lava starts flowing. You watch the city plunge into darkness as ash blankets the skies. The consequences of an eruption would be catastrophic. A city's entire infrastructure would collapse, without telecommunications and blocked roads evacuation would be a monumental challenge. Nearby populations would be at risk from pyroclastic flows, mudslides, and, of course, the constant threat of lava. How would a volcanic eruption affect modern society? Are we prepared to deal with a natural disaster of this magnitude? What steps do you think we could take to minimize the impact on our lives? Did you think I would leave without giving you another fascinating fact? Recall the eruption of Mauna Loa, the last volcano to erupt in the United States was Mount St. Helens in 1980. Preceded by several earthquakes 11 days earlier, the eruption caused unprecedented destruction in Washington state and highlighted the vulnerability of our communities to the fury of nature. The initial public reaction to the volcano's eruption inflicted a severe blow to tourism, an important sector of Washington state's revenue. But it wasn't just tourism that was affected around Mount St. Helens. In the Gifford Pinchot National Forest area, conventions and social gatherings were also cancelled. In conclusion, the possibility of a volcano erupting in the United States is not just a science fiction scenario. With active volcanoes on our soil, it is crucial to understand the potential threats and prepare in all areas for the unknown. If you don't know where to start, you could look for information on how to act in the face of this type of natural catastrophe. 
However, not everything is negative, since in many places on our planet over the years after a volcano erupted it has been a great tourist attraction for the area. For example in Lanzarote in the Canary Islands is known by many as the National Park of Tamanfea a Spanish protected natural area located in the municipalities of Yaiza and Tenejo. In 2021 it received a total of up to 803,625 visitors being the second most visited national park in the Canary Islands after the Tide National Park in Tenerife. So if a volcano were to erupt in the United States maybe in time it could be an interesting destination for many. But, better that it doesn't happen and we don't find out what would happen. Before I go, I want to know what you think. Do you think we are ready to face the fury of Mother Nature? Share your thoughts in the comments, like me if you like this imaginative journey, and don't forget to subscribe for more explorations of the mysteries of our world. See you next time.